Thyroid nodules are something that many women deal with. Sometimes we know they're there and sometimes we have no idea. They can be palpable as in we can see them and sometimes we can't. I've seen the whole range with my clients. Some women have very protruding nodules. Others have doctors tell them that they have nodules and they had no idea. So nodules can be comprised of all different kinds of tissue. The most common that I see from my clients are calcifications. So what that means is calcium is getting in the thyroid and creating these little nodules. Now, what is interesting is that calcium didn't just show up there. We've got to figure out why it got lodged in your thyroid. This is where the gut comes in. What's fascinating is fungus is usually the root cause of this. So fungus includes yeast like candida or mold, which we're all exposed to mold in the environment, but many of us have lived in water damaged homes or work in water damaged offices. Both of those things, mold and yeast, get into the gut, take up residence, and then they produce something called oxalates. Now oxalates, they look like little shards of glass. They exit the gut and they can go into any body tissue. We most commonly see them going into the kidneys and then creating those calcified kidney stones. They can also create gallstones, but interestingly, they can get into thyroid tissue. So I was reading a study, this was done a couple years ago, but they found that 79% of autopsies, so 79% of people that have passed where they looked at their thyroid, 79% of those people had oxalates in their thyroid. And some of them were in the form of those calcified nodules. So what that tells us is if we have got some sneaky infections in our gut, they will produce these little crystals that look like shards of glass. Those oxalates can get into the thyroid and then they start to build those calcified nodules. And at that point, the thyroid can't work because it's got all of this inflammation. It's got all of this growth, literal growth going inside of it. And the immune system can often become involved and attack the own tissue. This is a problem. This is why nodules can create massive problems with thyroid function and thyroid disease. But I hope you can see from this description, the thyroid isn't actually the problem. If we take out the thyroid, well, the gut's going to keep producing oxalates. If we take out the nodule, you'll likely get more. I've seen all of these scenarios happen with clients. I've seen multiple cases where nodules are removed and nodules come back. And that's because we didn't find the root cause of the problem. So if nodules are happening in your thyroid or truly anywhere in your body, it's really wise to do the organic acids test. That's a simple urine test that will show us if you have oxalates being produced. So first of all, it'll show us if you have fungus and commonly in women with thyroid disease, I see a lot of mold and I see a lot of candida. So both of those things will produce those oxalates and then we can see it in your urine. So it's very common as well to see high levels of oxalates and then the women will also have nodules. So if we can see the fungus and we can see the mold, well, Hey, now we can do something about it. So at that point we can put together a three month protocol to address the yeast and the mold and to help bring down that oxalate damage that is just tearing up your tissue. Now, a question I get a lot is can nodules be reversed? My answer for that I don't know. (laughs) I have seen some women actually reverse nodules. Very, very few. I've seen a few cases where, uh, an enlarged thyroid did decrease. I've never actually seen a nodule completely disappear. I don't know if it's not possible. So I would love to hear from your experience. Number one, do you have nodules? What have you learned about your nodule? What has your doctor told about your nodules? Number two, have you had any changes as you changed your diet or changed your thyroid meds, have you seen any changes to the size and shape of your nodule? Let me know what your experience is, ask your questions, and we will talk more about nodules. All right. Talk to you soon.